Raise your hand if you cried in the theater for an hour and 38 minutes straight. Shalom, my friends. This is Max Joseph, and I'm here because I just saw The Farewell, and I am still recovering. The Farewell was written and directed by Lulu Wang and stars Aquafina, who plays a Chinese-American woman named Billy, who returns to China even when her entire family says not to come after she finds out her grandmother Nai Nai, played by Zhu Zhen Chao, is given a terminal diagnosis. Billy struggles with her family's decision to keep Nai Nai in the dark about her own illness as they all stage an impromptu wedding to be with her one final time. My friends, I have never held my breath for so long during a movie. This had me gasping for air from start to finish. I believe that this movie is for everyone who has ever lost someone or has had to watch someone suffer and just wishing more than anything that you can just take their pain away, even if that means carrying their burden for them. And with that said, here are my bullet points for The Farewell. Bullet point number one. Let's start this off with Aquafina. Excuse me? Where did this come from? We all know and love her from her hysterical comedic performances in 2018's Crazy Rich Asians and Ocean's 8. But now she got me crying hysterically in a dramatic role. I don't want to believe that is a good thing. I was not ready. And with only three major films slash roles under her belt, Aquafina has now proved that she is one of the best and most diverse actors in the business. And I can't wait to see so much more from her. And my wish has already been granted because she'll be appearing at the end of the year in Jumanji, the next level. And we'll also see her in two upcoming movie musicals, The Prom and The Little Mermaid. Oh yeah, and she'll be in that um, little upcoming Marvel Cinematic Universe, Shang-Chi and The Legends of the Ten Rings. <sighs> Can't wait. My next wish is that she gets an Oscar nomination for this because she was an absolute revelation. Bullet point number two. Zhu Zhen Chao, I am now speaking directly to you and let me be very, very clear. Where have you been all my life? I am your number one fan. You were brilliant. I love you. I felt like I knew your character the moment we first met you. It was truthful. It was honest. It was absolute perfect. Perfection. Thank you for your glorious and triumphant performance. I hope the world recognizes the unbelievable work you did. Bullet point number three. This is such a simple story that is told so simply, and that makes it all the more heartbreaking. The plot description that I said just a minute ago is literally everything you get. It is a movie that is anchored in tradition and love. And when you mix those two things together, you are given one of the most powerful stories of the year. Bullet point number four. Alex Weston has one of the most memorable scores of the year with those beautiful choral vocals brought to you by the brilliant Michael Kilgore with the strings behind him. Oh, it was just giving me all the life I ever needed. Congrats to Weston and a shout out to the fabulous Kilgore. Absolutely stunning. Bullet point number five. Let's get to Lulu Wang now. I mean, I actually have no words for you. Your direction is perfect and your script is perfect. I have nothing else to comment on. But a, a side note, I need you and your boyfriend Barry Jenkins to team up and make me a masterpiece. Thank you very much. Bullet point number six. This movie managed to nail every aspect of filmmaking. You look at this beautiful looking scene in front of you being acted like there's no tomorrow, then with Weston score just building and building in intensity, and then all of a sudden, they do a sharp cut to something else, and it would go to complete silence, and you could literally hear a pin drop. Sound, cinematography, editing, I, I can't say it enough, this was one of the best films in every aspect. I'm very excited to announce that The Farewell is my first five-star film. It is one of the best of 2019, and it is currently in theaters, and if you are able to, I implore that you go watch it. It's beautiful. My friends, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, as well as follow me on Twitter and Instagram at mjoseph492. And if you really love me, please consider being a patron on Patreon, where you can get patron-only content, guest interviews, giveaways, and lots more. You can even give me a film to review, and that video will be dedicated to you. Shalom, my friends.